Coming up today on Great Day at 9A, why you're paying extra for a different kind of drink. The new law you might not notice until you get to the checkout. How a new app could be changing your approach to feelings. We're talking with the Yale doctor behind the award-winning How We Feel Project. Why one professional golfer almost missed the Masters. You have to hear how social media helped get a very important invitation to the right Scott. Plus, it's Wine Wednesday. Marcy is exploring a local vineyard with a view live. It's all ahead on Great Day at 9A. Wednesday. You do it way better than I do. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm get, I got a, I got a little more practice. She's yeah. been doing this a while. Yeah, she yeah. has. How you been? I'm doing great, thanks. Good, How good, are you? Good, good, good. Kind of got over the exhaustion. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if any of you are feeling this way, but the holidays yeah. completely exhausted me. I had a better time transitioning from maternity leave coming back to work then versus the, the holidays week off. coming back. Yeah, I'm with you. I slept most of the day yesterday. Oh, good. I had to get up and go to the gym. I went to the gym at my trainer Graham, and then I was like, I got to go back to bed. Yeah. So I was like, took a nap, got up, went to the gym, came back, went to bed. Good. Yeah. So we need rested. that sleep, especially on our shift. Exactly. <laughs> um, and also, coming up, we have a psychic. How did you know that? Uh, I predicted it. Okay, very good. <laughs> we do have, we have a psychic on the show yes. who's going to actually tell us or maybe make some predictions for 2023. Mm -hmm. So very stay tuned. Exciting. Very interesting. I love when they come on the show. Yes. It's very interesting to see what they have to say. This is something, though, that we did predict coming up in the headlines right now. Okay, what do we got? That's right. Governor Ned Lamont, Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz will be sworn into office today for their second terms. Inauguration festivities start this morning with Weisowitz being sworn in at the state capitol in less than an hour. And then there's a ceremony at noon for Governor Lamont, followed by the State of the State Address. Tonight, both will headline the inaugural ball at the Bushnell, which is actually a tradition dating back to colonial times. And did you hear who is singing the Star Spangled Banner at noon? I understand he's got butterfly wings. <laughs> Michael Bolton. Michael folks. Bolton. Yeah, that's exciting. Connecticut native. And I loved this morning, uh, Marcy was actually giving us a preview earlier in the morning news, you could see a tie-dyed teddy bear. Uh, for Governor Ned Lamont. Yeah. Well, apparently he's a big Grateful Dead fan. Big Grateful Dead fan, yeah. So what do they say, the kid, what do they say for Dead fans? Rock on? Oh, keep trucking. Keep keep on trucking. Trucking. Trucking yeah. down the one way. Road. There you go. Trucking. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I don't know the words, but I do know the, I, I know some <laughs> Grateful Dead songs. Good for uh, you. Yeah, they're a good group. So yeah. you can watch the whole thing on Channel 3 or on the WFSB Plus app. Uh, you know, well, we're looking for good things to happen in the next four years, mm -hmm. so we wish him well. Yes, the, the absolutely. The people have spoken, and he's the man they chose and the there woman. So God bless and good luck. All right. Uh, you might not notice one of our state's new laws until you actually yeah, get to the really checkout lane. I didn't really notice about this until I found out from our own news. Yeah. <laughs> well, can, glad you watch. Connecticut's bottle deposits are now charged on drinks like Gatorade and Snapple, too. Other juices and even hard seltzers are also being taxed. Yeah, the tax is part of a change to the bottle law that took effect on January 1st. Now, some of the labeling hasn't been updated, so you might not see it on the actual bottle, but you can redeem each of them. Wine, liquor, or dairy products are not included in the tax. I'll be honest, we yes. are huge no, seltzer fans, oh, and okay. I never take, I, I never realize or think about the tax until I look at the bill and go, what, what is was this, all this? Uh, what is all this? Yeah. Extra 60 cents, extra $1.20. Yep. It adds up. It really does. I'm a huge recycler, so I, if there's a th uh, deposit on it, mm -hmm. it's in my garage right oh, now yeah. sitting in a bag, mm -hmm. and I will be the first to be at the deposit, at the bottle deposits getting my... Oh, you do that? Oh, absolutely. Good for you. Yeah, get my five cents back on the bottle. I'm getting Eight, it. Every little cent Counts, every right? every cent counts <laughs> exactly. A penny saved is a penny earned. Oh, and we or a actually penny earned is a penny saved. There or something you like that. Yeah. I uh, we have a full list of those new beverages that are included in that tax, also on the Channel Three app. All right, let's talk weather. Uh, it's my mo I talked to my mom mm -hmm. about uh, 45 minutes ago. She said the sun is out in Long Island, mm -hmm. so we're hoping the sun comes out here. It's a little foggy out there in parts of the state. Is it out on the shoreline right it, now? It uh, might be. It okay. might be just sneaking out. Now you can see according to early morning futurecast tomorrow's weather today. Shoreline would be the best bet to get some of this limited sunshine, and that's going to help boost the temperatures up. Now, just around lunch, uh, excuse me, the evening rush hour, you're going to start to see rain moving in, and it's pouring again at 7 o'clock. So this is rain that's going to be moderate to heavy. And then it kind of winds down by midnight. Tomorrow, we're just expecting mostly cloudy skies. So for the remainder of today, we're talking about 55 degrees, 50. Uh, again, you'll notice the rain icon, 7 p.m., rain, 
rain, rain later this afternoon through this evening, but it all wraps up. And then just a chance for some snow showers or rain showers on Friday as the temperatures drop tomorrow. It's going to be very chilly on Friday. So we'll keep you posted. I'll have the three-day forecast coming up in just a little bit. All right. Sounds good. And now on to a master's mix-up. This is great. This I is love this such story. such a great story. Yeah. A professional golfer who had been waiting weeks for his invite to Augusta finally figured out why it wasn't in his mailbox. Yeah. Well, it had been mailed to a different Scott Stallings. <laughs> who knew that, you know, there were two and living pretty close to each other. Yeah. Check this out. A real estate agent from Atlanta named Scott Stallings got an invitation to play at Augusta. Now, luckily, he knew it wasn't actually for him. Yeah. Because his golf game probably isn't that good to get him into Augusta. <laughs> the real estate agent, Scott, figured out how to get it to professional golfer Scott and then sent the invitation on its way ahead of the tournament in April. Now, if I had actually gotten that, I probably would have driven it to him myself rather than going... I mean, a, a, do you know what it's like to get an invitation to go to Augusta? That's huge. Huge. That's such an exclusive. And he hadn't gotten event. an invitation since 2014. Yeah. So he's been waiting a long time to get this invite. That's almost how many 10 years. years 10, nine yeah. years. Yeah. That's oh ridiculous. Boy. Well, so I've never been to the Masters, have you? I have not. My husband has, though, because he used to work for a golf channel. I, oh, really? So they would literally fly him on on the fly, no pun intended, and he'd come home and say, honey, I'm, I'm, I'm heading to the Carolinas. That's, I'm heading to Augusta. I'm like, what? That is very interesting because yeah. Paul, my former, yep. used to work for Golf for Women, which was really? a Meredith Corporation product. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, he used to we work for Golf. We learned something new about each other today. <laughs> there we go. Well, if you've, uh, maybe the people, who addressed the master's invites for taking part in one Wednesday. That's right. Just, Just like, like Marcy Jones is this morning. <laughs> so where is she today? Let's find out. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, you guys. Fun fact, as long as Michael Bolton is back in his uh, home state of Connecticut, we thought we would have him record one. Wednesday. Yeah, really <laughs> kick things off for us, right? Am I right? I know. I love it. I'm happy to be back with Wine Wednesday. We are here in Warren. We're at Hopkins Vineyard. We're very excited. Take a look at some of the products that they have out here. They've got tons of wine. They've also got honey, crackers, maple syrup, all types of different products. But I want you guys to look at this cabinet right over here, Jeff. We've got all of their accolades, and they've won a lot of awards. So when they heard that Wine Wednesday channel, three was coming they said hey not only are we gonna have the head winemaker there we're also gonna send the owner of Hopkins Vineyard so we've got both of them here uh, one is going to be talking about the wines the other one is going to give us a full rundown on their nearly 200 year history so we've got a lot to learn and a lot to taste coming up we'll see you guys in just a few minutes okay. all right thanks Marcy all right I, I was joking around saying I think she heard you say wine Wednesday all the way in Warren I think she certainly <laughs> did all right